Hi guys, I'm Amy Marie Stewart. I'm an actor, a voice teacher, and I'm the founder of TheoryWorks. Welcome to our next course in music theory for actors. As a performer, I've sung at the historic Town Hall with Opera America. I've sung in rock musicals and on cruise ships. And my voice students have been in Broadway tours, they've sung with the Rockettes, and they've performed in regional theaters across the country. As someone who's an opera singer first, I really was surprised to find how few actors were familiar with reading sheet music. I'd constantly see them miss out on a gig or just be really stressed out, so I set out to create a course that would fix that. Think about the process that singers have to go through in order to sing. First of all, you picture a note in your head, and then you rotate your larynx sympathetically to imitate the note that you're imagining, and then you produce it. Instrumentalists, when they first sit down to learn their instrument, they have a really firm tactile relationship with pitch and a visual relationship to their instrument. So if an accompanist wants to play a C, they don't have to picture a C, they just play a C. In the first course, we taught you guys how to have that visual relationship with sheet music and also how to have that physical relationship to music by sitting down and plunking out your melody on the piano. This second chunk of the TheoryWorks course focuses on sight singing and on harmony, which I would argue is actually the most crucial skill that any actor could have. By the end of this course, you'll have all of the tools necessary for improving your ear, identifying chords, being able to sight sing a simple vocal line, and understanding what you hear, which is what sight singing is all about. Also, once you have that understanding of harmony, then you'll be able to actually create your own audition cuts. So the next time that you're standing in line at that EPA and you get cut back from 16 bars to eight, then you'll know how to make that decision on the fly and how to relate to your music best. So as you go through this course, I just wanna remind you, don't feel like there's any expectation for you to be perfect at this right away. It takes a long time to become an expert at anything. So within these six weeks, all that we're here to do is to give you the tools that you're gonna use when you're on the job, when you're in rehearsal, or when you're learning music to go in for an audition. It's once you start applying those tools in a real world situation that that's when you'll become an expert.